Hey guys, it's Atticus and it's here. We finally got the new microphone. So, how's the sound, guys? It, I, I imagine it sounds a lot better. So, yeah, we uh, have a fine, fine microphone, I think it's called. We have the pop filter. We have the new action software, guys. So, yeah, we're good. The channel has a little production value. So, for all you guys that uh, stuck around, you know, in the beginning, I really appreciate that. That was really cool, you know, when I was using the little headset. So, anyways, um, yeah. We're going on almost 30 subscribers now, and um, I think maybe 15 videos, so thanks guys, appreciate your support. So yeah, let's go ahead and start the day out with a little Dark Elf love, huh? So we'll do a quick battle, let's see how it goes. I have a really cool best of uh, three that I started to show. I did uh, game one uh, earlier, it's already uploaded. So game two, I just need to cast, and then um, yeah, I'll upload it as well. Sadly, it's not on the new microphones, that's the only problem. Uh, let's see what we're gonna fight here. So yeah, guys, I'm really excited. I also got a little microphone stand. I don't know if you can see it here in the camera, but uh, yeah, you know, it feels all fancy. We're moving up in the world. All right, so we have a match here. Let's see who we're fighting. We're fighting Cap Benicer. So we're gonna do a little Dark Elf, yeah, of course. And all right. So we're going to fight a Lariel. Oh, some Skaven. Even better. Alright, so you guys know the drill with um, Skaven. We are going to take some Terror Bombs. So we're going to take Marathi. Oh, we're going Lizard. Okay. So if we're going to go Lizard, we're going to go... Hmm. We're going to stick with Marathi, I think. Just because of Enchanting Beauty and the Heartrender Sword. It's just so good. It's hard to pass up, you know. So we're going to keep Soul Blight, uh, Miasma, uh, Soul Stealer, and Power of Darkness. We'll take all her extras. As for our frontline core, guys, we are going to go... I've had a lot of luck with Sisters of Slaughter, so we're going to take one of them, one Harganef just to uh, anchor the middle, and then we're going to take a couple Black Arc Corsairs on the side here. And then also we're going to take one unit of Shades. Um... Actually, we're going to take two units of shades, supported by one witch elf, to trap them down if they get into the back line. And then we're also going to take here, see here, a cold one knight would come in handy. And then we could either go two spearmen or another cold one knight. So, I also need some harpies. So, we'll do the hello barone and then a dark rider for any chameleons. That might work, guys. Let me look at this for a second. See if there's anything we could cut, though. If we could get another Dark Rider, I'd feel a lot more comfortable. So we're at 215 spell wise, Soul Blight. What if we cut that? 325. Mm -hmm. One, two. We could cut maybe these guys just go Swordman. Let's see what that does for us if we just do that. Okay, cool. So, what is our main anti large component? We got those guys. So, we'll take one unit of Harpies. Alright guys, yeah, we're going to try this. What map are we fighting on? It's a weird one. So as long as we can keep our shades alive, I think we'll have a good shot here. Um, Frontline. Uh, you know, the real uh, meat and potatoes of this build is going to be the shades. And if they don't expect it, we can really focus on their lord and, you know, do a lot of damage. So, mm, let's look at his profile real quick. See who we're fighting. Jonas. Alright, Jonas. Let's do it, guys. First game with the new microphone, so let's, let's see how it sounds. I can't wait to upload this and get some feedback from you guys. Alright, we're fighting on Lieziger Ford. Lieziger Ford. Something. Alright. Let's start today with a win, guys. We need this win. All right, here we go. Man, I'll stop saying all right, I promise. I think that's uh, Gobbo King's trademark is the whole all right, all right, all right thing, so we don't want to step on his shoes. I kind of am afraid I didn't take enough anti-large. 
if you want like a lot of bastilodons and stuff like that. We have one cold night dedicated. It might work, guys. You know, we'll see. As long as we can keep these shades alive, though, is what's really going to matter. Maybe I should have took spearmen in place of these bleak swords, but we'll see. I've actually wanted this build before, so it's not impossible. I know it could happen. We're going to take those guys off their cooldowns. We're going to put a little space in between these guys. And then we'll put the witch elves in the middle. And these witch elves are going to lock them down, so if something does get in the back line, you know, we'll lock them down so the other shades can hit them. These guys right here. And then the harpies right there. Along with the dark riders right there. Marathi right there. And our cold one knights. So we'll keep the cold one knights hidden for now for the element of surprise. Alright. So let's go ahead and put everybody in a control group. Boom, boom, boom. And boom. And let's look at the army size. So he went really small, which leads me to think he went dinosaur. So, hmm. Right, I guess we'll find out, guys. Let's try this. He went a lot of chameleon skinks, though, as we thought he would. All right, so we're going to go ahead and just move everybody up. And we're going to get these guys moving. Get the uh, Dark Riders moving. And we need to get Marathi. Alright, guys, so we'll let those do some damage. And we're gonna go ahead and just send him in there. Yeah, I guess we're already in it, guys, so let's get this going. Let's get the Shades attacking him ASAP, though. We need to pull the Cold One Knights back out. And let's pull Marathi back out as well. Alright. A little bit of a rough start, guys, but we might be able to make this work. As long as we don't get too crazy about it, you know what I mean? Pull these guys back. And have these guys focus on here. Have you guys focus on there. And we need to take care of these chameleons. That's the biggest threat for right now. Yes, have you guys focus here. Uh, hello, Brony, right here, and we're gonna slow him down. So if we get Crocgar, that's gonna be a big win for us, guys. Which I have a feeling we might. This might work in our favor. We just need to lock him down ASAP. If he tries running, that's fine. We just chase. Big sword, you guys need to get on these spears. Uh, Marathi, what are you doing? Get out of there. Cool. Alright, Shades need to kill. Alright, so we'll cast that there. And here comes the Shades. Or, here comes the, uh... Yeah, this was I was afraid of. A lot of dinosaurs. And we don't have a lot of ways of countering against it. But these guys are just sitting there like idiots. Where are my cold one nights? How's the front line going, guys? Are we? Doesn't look too hot, does it? While we're chasing him, we're getting dealt with by these dinos. We can focus here. If we can get these guys to break, though, we'll be in good shape. It's not over till the fat lady sings. All right, so we're breaking one of the dinos. That's good. We'll get you shades focused on him. And we're going to go ahead and send Marathi. We need to finish up these guys here. And we need these shades. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and slow him down. And we're going to cast Soul Blight on these guys here. So we need to slow them down. Alright, so we've broken those units, which is good. And now it's just a matter of getting all of this armor piercing on Krokgar. As much damage on Krokgar as we can. It's really going to help us. 
All right, so focus, focus him down. We're gonna pull them out so we don't lose those guys. You know what? We'll just focus on. He wants to leave those guys to die, so be it. That was the least we could do right now. We might have a chance on this, guys. I'm liking this build. All right, so now we'll get the shades focused on these guys. Where's the other shade at? We're missing a shade. Did I lose a shade? Yes, we did. Pull these guys in the deal with Krakar. Shade. I need you doing a shock, Krakar. Uh, come on. There we go, guys. I think we might have this. We're doing okay. We break his lords, and it is game over for him. Come on. Pull you guys out. We need another soul blight. Come on, we can do this. Alright, so let's get these guys attacking here. Here. We need all you guys attacking there. Where's Marathi at? Get these guys attacking here. Get the shades attacking here. Alright, we need to focus this dude though. This is frustrating. My shades keep getting caught up. They're not going where I tell them. Alright, come on. Where are my shades? So we've lost all our shades. So that's really unfortunate for us guys. But we have a little bit of here. These guys can still break, you know, if we get lucky here. Alright, Shades came back. So, we need to focus on Krokgar, though. Alright, he broke. That is what we needed, guys. So we're going to use a Miasma to slow him down. We're going to dedicate these guys to shoot after him. And, yeah, that's how you do it, guys. We'll have these guys attack here. Um, I think we could pull back Marathi since the Cold One Knights are chasing him. And those guys have broke. And yeah, this is going to help our ladder a little bit. Get us back up on some rank. Alright. That is how it is done, my friends. Let's go ahead and send these guys after these here. And let's wish them good luck. So yeah, guys. First game of the day. Uh, the new microphone was a win, so let's go ahead and do the end screen breakdown here. And see how we did. Um, Alright, so yeah guys, the secrets of this build is two shades. Um, a lot of times the dinos won't expect that, you know, they'll expect a, a lot of uh, black guard or so on. So if you do these shades, not the um, dark shards, but the actual shades that have a lot higher uh, missile damage, you know, catch them by surprise. And, you know, and you protect them by separating them, having a witch elf in the middle to lock down if they do get in the back line. And my, my defense was a little bit sloppy in that game. He was kind of getting in my back line and messing it all up. But when it works in theory, I mean, not in theory, I've done it before, but when it works like it's supposed to, though... You know, he can't commit to either shade without getting trapped down by the Witch Elves and then, you know, hit by the other unit. So, it's really good. It catches them by surprise. Um, as for the rest of the army, man, I mean, uh, the uh, Executioners did their job. 103 kills ain't no joke. So, um, and the Sisters, they trade really good with um, Saurus. Maybe not so much Temple Guard, but with Saurus, I, they'll actually beat them on a one-on-one. -on -one. Um, as for my opponent's build here, um, eh. I don't know. Uh, the Ancient Stegodon, I guess it's cool. I, I think he had a lot in melee. Um, I think you'd want to have it more as a, uh, a range, you know, blasting away at my lord would have been more ideal instead of having it, you know, you know, uh, attacking my lines. But, uh, yeah, I mean, I guess it's it's a pretty safe build of his. It was just, you know, this build right here, it's just a good counter to it. So, all right, guys, this is the first of many new uh, videos to come with the new microphone, and yeah, so let me know how it is and how it sounds, and, uh, you know, we'll work on getting things better. So just wanted to start this one out for you guys. All right, this is Atticus. See you.